it's amazing the obviously our, our focus in the national media changes from week to week day to day and you know john gruden was the story last week uh, <laughs> urban meyer came up with his first career win as an nfl head coach it happened in london in a game that the jaguars came from behind a couple of times to win um so his job is now are, are we just placing everything aside that the Khan family and urban meyer survived all of that and that the plan just yeah. remains the same is that the way it goes i mean I, I just think you know i honestly rich i i just i like i didn't buy that he was going to walk away um at this point just because i i think like the the two sides have too much invested in one another for it to be to, to come undone that quickly right like and i know everything that happened and you know, obviously that Friday night in Columbus wasn't a good one for for, for Urban, and um, you know the fallout from it. You know, I don't think that was great either. Um, but you know, I, I you know, I, 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 you just have to look at like the level of investment the two sides had in one another, and that um, you know, for the Khan family, it wasn't just hiring a coach; it was almost like you were hiring his program, his way. You know, and they invested so much in the staff and changing the way they do sports science, and training, and strength, and everything else. And, um, you know, they're building a $150 million practice facility uh, because he, took, he asked them to, you know. And so there's a massive investment um, from the Khan family to, to, to bring Urban Meyer in there. You know, and then I think what people miss on Urban is that when he left Ohio State in Florida, I, <laughs> I mean, he has achieved like a high, high level of success in both those places. And so, you know, I – after, if Florida was after two national titles, and Ohio State was after one, um, he's never really left anywhere with his tail between his legs, you know. And it's just, I, you know, knowing a little bit about the guy, just like I had a hard time reckoning with the idea that he would just walk away that way without having done anything, you know. And so, um, if he completely lost the locker room, that'd be one thing because I do think that's something he's acutely aware of, and he knows that if he loses the locker room, he's got no chance. I think absent that, um, I don't think he was going to walk away. And by the way, like, I also really don't think he's going back to college. And I think that, you know, one thing people are missing the mark on that is just I don't think he wants to recruit anymore. You know, like I don't think he wants to do that part of the job anymore. So um, I think they've to, to some degree weathered the storm here. And, you know, that doesn't mean he's going to be there in like 2023. I don't know that. Um, you know, but I don't think that there's going to be like this quick hook with the Khan family, um, you know, and their handling of Urban over the next over over the course of this season, at least. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.